Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep in mind guys that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, please do not struggle to try to get things to fit. Um, if it doesn't feel like it fits already, just let it go. Also, the way I'm telling this story may not necessarily how it's playing out for you. So if, it, if I'm saying, if I'm picking up on energies that are resonating with you, but I'm not necessarily telling it the way it applies to you, just apply it to your situation as necessary, as needed, yeah? Um, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the readings that I offer in the description box below are not necessarily um, uh, applied to a romantic or a twin flame relationship. They can be applied to any sort of situation that you would like greater clarity on, okay? So if you, I do encourage you guys, because this is a general reading, I do encourage you to reach out for a reading if you want to gain greater, greater clarity on your specific situation, yeah? Because I'm pulling in a lot of energies for a lot of different situations and sometimes, you know, some things get left out, but that's just because there's so much going on in my head. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio at this current moment for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. Let's get into this for you. You've had a little bit of a rough period lately. If you've been following me and you've been connecting with me, I've been connecting with this, this group of Scorpios that have really been going through some challenging times. There have been a lot, lots of deceptive happenings going on around you, Scorpio. I remember, um, I think the, the, video, the title for your video last week or for the beginning of the month was stop fronting because it ain't all good, right? So let's see what we get for you this time, Scorpio. All right, one more shuffle for you. Okay, no, one more. <laughs> one more, all right. Scorpio. There we go. Okay. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Nine of Swords. There it is. Something's haunting you, Scorpio. This is not anything new. <laughs> As we all know, this is not anything new. Okay. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Wands in reverse, Lord have mercy, and the Seven of Swords. Really, guys? <laughs> I mean, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to pass judgment or anything, but it's just like you've been in this situation for so long, Scorpio. And, and okay, there's something underneath here. Yeah, look, the world in reverse. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse... You are not accepting something. You're not seeing something for as it really is. And what I'm picking up here is you are refusing. You're refusing to see something, see a situation as it really is. And this is why you are, you are plagued by this Nine of Swords energy. You're haunted by it. You're up in your head. And, um... And it makes perfect sense. Why? Because the universe is trying to bring this cycle to an end for you, but you're refusing, you're resisting. You have, I mean, you're, you're choosing, you are choosing not to choose. You are choosing not to take a new step in a new direction for fear of something. Okay, sure. But with the seven of swords energy, now you're not, you're at a point now where you're not just cheating others. Now you're cheating yourself. And that's unfortunate. It's unfair. Why, why do you do that to yourself? And of course, as soon as I ask that question, I get hit with a bunch of childhood issues and all that. So, okay, that's understandable. But it's time to get through that, guys. It's really time to get through that. Let's get into your storyline. We have the hanged man. All right, sure. But this is not a situation in which you are in suspension so that you can see a different perspective. Maybe it is. Um, it is an, it is upright, so okay, maybe this is a situation where you know you're you're um, suspending yourself to get a, 
a new perspective. But what I'm also picking up here for you, Scorpio, is you see that fire underneath you? It's almost like you're you're standing in the fire. Huh. Because you feel like you deserve to be punished in some ways. And that's unfair. Don't do that to yourself. I don't know. This hanged man, this hanged man energy is weird. I don't know if it's good or bad. I mean, it's not beneficial, but it's not detrimental either. It's just like you're just you're just hanging there. Uh yeah, with the star in reverse. Okay, so maybe yeah, maybe it isn't maybe it's not so good. Because healing is trying to to be brought to you, but you don't want to budge. You just want to stay in this state that you're in. And it may not be a, a, a all that good of a state. You don't necessarily like being in it. But as long as you're in this state, nothing else can hurt you. Nothing else can go wrong. So you feel like, oh, I'm just going to stay right here. When the star is trying to coax you out of that and say, no, come this way, darling. We need you over here. You need you over here. You need to heal. You can now, you you won't be able to reach the things that you've been asking for and wishing for if you just stay in that one place. And that is exactly what this is talking about in the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands in reverse. You're refusing to see the truth of the situation. You're refusing to see how you got yourself into this situation. And as a result, you're not budging. And it's really unfair to yourself with the Seven of Swords. You are cheating yourself. You are deceiving and lying to yourself. We, yeah, look, the Six of Swords in reverse, stagnant, not moving with the Four of Swords. Okay, well, all right, so maybe the hanged man energy is not so bad. I mean, you're restful, but you see, the thing about this is you know you're going to have to, at, at some point, you're going to have to step back out into the battle. But you're taking your sweet ass time. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and, and all right, okay, I get it. Uh, to a certain extent, you're really just trying to to regain your strength. Um, you do feel weak and um, and drained, depleted. That could be an effect of the of the retrograde, the Mercury in retrograde that we are coming out of. It ended the fifteenth, and so we still may feel the energy moving forward, but. Um, yeah, you're very much in a state of suspension, but you know you're going to have to step back out there and you're not willing and you're, you're just trying to take, I keep hearing you're taking your sweet ass time about it, which, hey, that's all right. Eventually it's going to happen again anyway. <laughs> we have the high priestess, okay, with the eight of pentacles. All right. Okay. So this is good. This is a definitely a positive aspect of you being in this suspension, Scorpio, because in this suspension, you're really, you're really communicating, um, with yourself. And what I'm being told here is you're, you're keeping, you're keeping the truth of what you're going through a secret, but it's only because you want to deal with it in private. You don't want this to be out in the open. And I understand that. Um, but understand also that sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Okay. And ultimately you have to keep striving. All right. But, um, but you're doing the work, you're learning and you're growing and that's fine. Um, but I'm also getting a bit of manipulative energy with this Scorpio. Like you're, uh, ooh, you don't want the, the, the reason, the main reason why you don't want a lot of this out in the open is because it's going to really shine not such a good light on you. But at the same time, a lot of people already know this aspect about you and, and nobody is surprised to be quite honest, Scorpio, nobody is surprised. So it's not like you're really hiding much of anything from anybody. And that's okay. Ultimately, though, what this to this card combination is also saying to me is that, um, you know, work is being done. So even though it looks like you're in this suspended period and you're, quote, taking your sweet ass time and you're it looks like you're not really making any movements and that you're stagnant. That's what it looks like on the surface. But internally, you do have this internal dialogue that's going on within yourself with, between you and your higher self. That is helping you to build, helping you to learn and grow. Like you see how this, this guru is with this child here, um, you know, blessing him or whatever. And then we have Lord Ganesha, who is um, 
helping you break down these barriers, break down these walls. So that's a good thing. But look, here's the thing about this, keeping this a secret. What's done in the dark will always come to the light. You just gonna leave that there. Keep that in mind. Moving forward, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Swords. Good. Okay. All right, cool. So you have been persevering in some way in the past that is no longer serving you. And now you see that with the Ace of Swords. This is good. The Ace of Swords is coming into your reality and is showing you just how much what that which you've been fighting for in the past is not something you really want or need to be fighting for moving forward in the future. Okay, and this is actually part of this di this inner dialogue that's going on with you. This is what this is what the the work of the Eight of Pentacles and the breaking down of barriers is bringing towards you with the Ace of Swords. This is the result of this inner work, and that's very very good, very very good. Okay, moving forward, we have ah, the Three of Swords in reverse, but I'm feeling like that's a good thing here, coupled with the Devil. My my my. That's a big surprise, not. <laughs> but here, um, you're seeing, you're seeing the devil in this Three of Swords energy that has been plaguing you for so long, Scorpio. You are starting to see the devil in this situation. You're starting to see your attachment to these negative situations, this negativity, and all that. Um, for some of you. This is a representation of you not wanting to let go of um, these heartbreaking tendencies. And it's because of your connection to the devil. But why are you connected to the devil so much? Could it be that this seems to be some form of security for you? Maybe. I just feel like there's a lot of self-deprecating energy around you right now, Scorpio. And it has to do with the struggle of this situation that's been going on for so long. So long. All right, moving forward, we have the Princess of Wands or the Page of Wands with the Five of Cups in reverse. All right, so yeah, you really are letting go of the devil energy that's around you. And you're stepping into a new form of spirituality. And you're no longer, um, you're no longer, you're, or at least, you're going to be getting to a point where you're just not, you're not even going to have the time or the patience to cry over spilled milk anymore. Okay. You're moving forward or someone is moving forward. Either someone is, has, um, gained a new form of enlightenment surrounding this situation with you, or you have finally come to that period because you've been within, you've come to that period of enlightenment. And now you've got this brand new fire underneath you under your butt and you are you're just like I, I literally just heard this i have no time to cry over spilled milk i got shit to do people to see places to go you know do the damn thing i'm ready to do the damn thing now i'm not going to cry over this spilled milk anymore i'm not going to allow myself to be manipulated by this anymore i'm not going to allow myself to be controlled by this devil energy anymore i'm not going to seek or, or i'm not going to hold on to this three of swords energy because it's what i'm comfortable with anymore because it's not what i want in my life Right? Because the more you focus on something, the more of it you'll get in your life. So if this is what you expect out of your life, of course you're going to get that. But not anymore. Inspiration. Starting anew. Saying, I'm done, I'm done with all of this painful mourning energy that I've been dealing with all the time. I'm moving forward with my life now. And that's excellent. Next, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. With the Queen of Cups. Um... Now, the Two of Swords is not like the Two of Wands, okay? For here, when I got, when this card came out, the first thing I thought of was you're no longer trying to decide. You're no longer in a rock, between, between a rock and a hard place, trying to plan your next, plan your next move. You are, you have decided. You know which way to go now. This is, um, you know, you know what step you want to take. That's what I felt when I first, when it first came out. But you're still, you're still holding on to your emotions a little bit. The good thing about the Queen of Cups here is that you're in greater connection with 
your intuition and with your emotions and that is absolutely being reflected because this is falling right under the high priestess and you either have been or are in or you whatever in this moment of introspection and you're you're dealing with yourself um and now that's giving you a greater connection with your intuition and your emotions but you're not really expressing it too much some of you might be i i am getting i'm getting um two different scenarios, two main scenarios here. Either, you know, you've made this choice and now you want to let want to let these emotions flow or you've made this choice but you're not necessarily ready to speak to these emotions yet. You're not you're still kind of holding on to them a little bit. Um but Scorpio, this is you showing up in the reading here with this Queen of Cups. Um it is a water thing. Um yeah. Finally, for you, Scorpio, we have the Princess of Pentacles uh, with the Five of Swords in reverse. I like that. I like that, Scorpio. Whoops. I really like that. You know, you're, you're leveling up. You're starting up new. You're starting a fresh uh, a step in the, in the right direction when it comes to your physical reality. Why? Because you've been so combative maybe even egoic in a um in a very much a twisted masculine energy of just fighting for the sake of fighting for the sake of showing who's boss for the sake, sake of bravado and all that um and i want to point out scorpio that not only did you get the page of pentacles with the five of swords in reverse you got the page of wands with the five of cups in reverse also so i mean that's that is great. That is a really powerful message, Scorpio. You know, change is really coming to you. And why? Because you're taking you're taking this time to rest, but this rest is not um, procrastination, okay? What the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is also saying is that you're coming out of a, a, procrastin a type of procrastinating energy. I mean, there are still a lot of Scorpios out there that are resisting seeing the truth of the matter and seeing their involvement in the matter but at the same time there are still some of you that are that are at least starting to release this procrastination because you can't really fight it anymore you can't so you're moving forward with it and you're coming to terms with things you're making decisions and you're starting anew with these pages here I mean, I really love seeing that you're laying down this five of Ener five of swords energy. I really love seeing that because that is not good energy to hold on to, guys. It's really detrimental. It's self destructive. Nobody wins in that situation. So the fact that you're letting it go now is really is really a beautiful thing, Scorpio. All right. Well, there it is. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. If there is anything that you would like to discuss further in a private reading, I encourage you, please do not hesitate to reach out. I am here. You know how to find me. Yeah. Much love to you guys. And I look forward to connecting with you for the beginning of May. Take care. Bye.